Today folks what I'm going to do is just revisit the greenhouse project that we were working on. All of my early season crops like the lettuces and everything like that, they're all done and ready to go. They're actually going to seed right now which I do every year to make sure I got my own organic seeds that I produce. So you can see the red romaine lettuce right here is going to seed. You can see the uh, ice lettuce right here is going to seed. We've also got broccoli right here. That's right now flowering and getting ready to produce some broccoli seed for us. You can see in the background here all the asparagus starts everywhere are doing great. You can see how much has been harvested out of this. All the um, cat soy that was over here has been harvested. Some of it's left right now like this is going to seed for next year. Here in the center you can see we've got all kinds of our zucchini and our uh, cucumbers and all that growing really nicely. You've got a tomato right here turning orange. Another one down in here getting ready nice and ripe. You can see all the carrots coming up in between it. You've got broccoli and some red romaine in there. So here we've got some of our green zucchinis that we've grown hidden underneath here. We've got one right there. Quite a few all the way through. Another big one somewhere down in here. There's a nice big guy sitting right there. So we've got our green zucchinis everywhere. Right back through right here, you can see one of our yellow straight necks. They're starting to get big, looking good to eat. So right next to our seeding broccoli, we've got broccoli right now just starting to form heads on it. So we'll be able to start harvesting off of that. You can see a little broccoli head right there. Uh, lots and lots of carrots down in this one. As you can tell, these are all just a ton of carrot hanging out of there. Most of the red romaine that was in this has already been harvested, leaving behind just the carrot and the asparagus which will harvest both at the same time by digging up the soil at the end of the year. So right here what you see is one of our little yellow straight necks. Right beside it we've got a nice head of lettuce that I'm actually going to pull up for later today. So there's a nice little head of uh, lettuce for us for later. We'll throw a couple more of those together for a salad tonight. This is a shot of a couple of our big purple cabbage. So let me go ahead and walk over to the aquaculture building. I've only got about 20 fish left in there right now, but we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. All right, so here we are walking up on the greenhouse. You can see I've added another pipe pouring in water from a higher altitude. That gives us a little bit more oxygenation into the system. We get a pretty good oxygen supply from the trough they're feeding the water in, but I wanted to add something to it just to make it a little better. Let me real quickly here stop the flow to the pipe so the water clears up and we can see some of the fish over there. All right, now that the water's calmed down, I got a couple grasshoppers in my hand. I'm gonna throw them in on the surface and just let you see the trout that are in there. Wham, got them. You can see some of the fish right there. Kind of hard to see them down at the bottom. Well, so far since I've made the first video, I haven't had to mess with this thing once. So you're talking almost two full months, and it's been up and running solid ever since then, and I haven't had to do anything other than I had uh, one time I had a piece of leaf get stuck in the valve right there, kept it from coming all the way shut. I got the leaf out of there, and it's run just fine ever since then. So I leave you with this, folks. Here's a shot of the sprinkler once again in action from our water ram. Just making sure, first of all, the greenhouse stays nice and cool during these hot 90 plus degree days and that it's watering everything and keeping it nice and green. Until next time, this is Mr. Tesalonian.